Two million children get a concussion every year, but many of them go untreated. That's according to a new study that looked at injuries to kids 18 and under across the U.S. So what's being done to make sure young athletes are getting properly diagnosed and getting the medical attention they need? Fox 47 Susan L. Corey investigates. A quick knock can be all it takes to cause a concussion, even if it doesn't seem like something's wrong. Symptoms may not be immediate. It may be hours or days or even up to weeks later. That's why everyone working with kids at MSU summer camps are trained to identify concussions. And if coaches think there's a chance a player might have one, they call in certified athletic trainers like Leanna Haddon. If we feel that they have any signs or symptoms, they're immediately pulled from play for the, the entire day. But Haddon says the biggest thing is that kids get treatment afterwards. We recommend them following up with their pediatrician and following up back home with a physician to get cleared before they participate again. It's similar to policies at the Michigan High School Athletic Association, which now offers concussion testing on the sidelines. They have to be 100% cleared uh, before they can step foot on the field again. If a player isn't cleared and goes back into the game, the team will have to forfeit and could be kicked out of tournaments because getting a second concussion before the first one heals can lead to even worse symptoms and is sometimes fatal. It is always the greatest fear that you have is that uh, something goes undetected and you found out that a kid had a concussion in the game and then you send them back in there. For that same reason, players at MSU summer camps who had a concussion aren't allowed back on the field unless they've been cleared by a doctor and are symptom free. A lot of times they have a symptom and they don't want to say anything because they don't want to sit out of play. Which is why the camp is teaching kids about concussions and encouraging them to speak up if they think something's wrong. In East Lansing, Susan L. Corey, Fox 47 News. The MHSAA is going a step further. It now requires schools to report concussions and is using that information to see if safety changes are needed. A full report should be out this summer. The CDC says there are four types of concussion symptoms. Cognitive includes things like difficulty concentrating, thinking clearly, or remembering new information. There are also physical symptoms like balance problems, sensitivity to light or noise, and fuzzy or blurry vision. You need to watch out for emotional issues like irritability, anxiety, and sadness. And people with concussions may also have trouble falling asleep or their sleep patterns may be disrupted. People with these symptoms need to see a doctor.